Tejas Research and Engineering introduces the tubing retrievable injection safety valve with hydraulic actuation and variable orifice insert, also known as the TRIVH with VOI. Injector wells make up a quarter to a third of all completions worldwide. Conventional production technology is currently being used for injection applications. What's needed is an injection safety valve for an injection well. In this application, that injection valve must be compatible with an FIV in the lower completion, must provide dual barriers during installation for pressure testing and BOP removal, and must allow the FIV below to properly cycle and open without trapping pressure. This is the TRIVH tubing retrievable injection valve in section view. We have a tubing to annulus hydraulic piston, a hydraulic indexing sleeve, an upper flow tube, a rotational bearing assembly, bi-directional main piston seals, a power spring, an upper flow tube collet, and a lower flow tube. The design also includes a lower flow tube exercise profile for contingency operations. There's a flapper hard seat, a flapper soft seal, a flapper mount, and a curved flapper. The flapper torsion springs and associated hardware are not shown. The wireline retrievable VOI has an internal fishing profile, retention shear pins, flow tube latching dogs to locate within the flow tube of the TRIV, polished bore packing, a lock adapter for space out, a magnetic couple, a power spring, a spring stop for stroke limitation, the VOI torpedo, and a back pressure check ball and spring. The TRIV is shown with the VOI installed. The torpedo is closed. In the shop you can install the running tool which hits on the no-go shoulder in the top part of the TRIV, fully latches within the VOI and the chamber housing, contacts the VOI torpedo, and opens the VOI for running down hole. The running tool is designed to limit any stroke within the TRIV that could be imparted by the VOI during installation. There's bypass through the running tool and around the open VOI during installation. The bypass also allows circulation flow around the VOI during installation or pressure testing the completion. In this installation sequence, the lower completion is installed with a closed FIV. Run and hold with the upper completion, the flapper is open and the running tool is holding the VOI open. The upper completion is stabbed into the lower polish bore receptacle. At this point, you can do a PBR test, a PDG test, and a TSR set test. The running tool eliminates the TRIVH and the VOI from counting cycles during the installation process. The hydraulic function of the TRIVH is locked by the running tool. The differential pressure between the tubing and the annulus on the hydraulic piston is effectively locked into position. Therefore, any number of pressure tests can be performed during installation without the need for the VOI and the TRIVH to count the cycles. As pressure increases, the TRIVH hydraulic piston tries to stroke but cannot because the running tool is keeping it in position. Once all installation pressure tests are complete, the running tool can be pulled with a dedicated pulling tool and the TRIVH and VOI are ready for the installation operations. This section view shows the running tool being pulled with its own dedicated pulling tool. The running tool is engaged, the latching dogs are retracted, and the VOI torpedo is allowed to completely close while the running tool is being pulled from the well. Once recovered, applying tubing pressure against the closed FIV will actuate the TRIVH. Relieving tubing pressure allows the flapper to close, trapping low pressure between the flapper and the closed FIV. A second higher pressure can be applied and then relieved from above to trap pressure between the flapper and the FIV. Once it passes its test, 
the blowout preventer can be removed. The wellhead can then be landed and later with an ROV an increase in tubing pressure will open the TRIV H flapper again. Once the tubing pressure is released, the flapper remains open and the lower flow tube will be in the down position. With the flapper held open, the FIB can be pressure cycled from above. The fixed volume between the VOI and the FIV prevents the TRIVH from fully cycling. Once the FIV is open, the fluid between the VOI and the FIV is now no longer fixed but considered infinitely compressible. The next low pressure cycle will allow the VOI to completely stroke the TRVH flow tubes. Once they're fully stroked, they will reconnect and when pressure is relieved, the flapper will close. Now the wellhead and the TRVH are dual barriers. The VOI is designed to allow low pressure bypass while still allowing pressure from below to not be trapped between the VOI and the FIV but to return through an inner check valve. When the FIV is closed, there's effectively a fixed volume of fluid below the VOI and above the FIV. Again at low pressure, the VOI will compress this fluid. When it's reached 50 PSI, it'll bypass around the VOI torpedo and allow back pressure back up through the VOI. This allows for cycling of the FIV. Due to the compressibility of the fluid, the VOI cannot travel any further than the compressive stroke. The compressive stroke is directly proportional to the compressive volume according to the following equation. An example with 5.5 casing and a distance of 5,000 feet between a TRVH and an FIV shows that the VOI travel at 50 psi is only 4 inches. This is not enough to cycle the TRVH. Therefore, set the TRVH as deep as possible and as close to the FIV as possible. After the pressure cycles, when the FIV is fully open, there is no trapped pressure between the VOI and the FIV. That compressibility allows the VOI to completely cycle the TRIVH, reconnecting the upper and lower flow tubes and allowing the flapper to close. The TRIVH is now a simple VOI-driven TRIV. Once the flapper is reset, normal injection operations can begin and the TRIVH will act like a TRIV with the VOI and it will become the injection safety valve. Now when low pressure is applied, the VOI will open the flapper before any injection operations. As the flow rate changes, the back pressure remains relatively consistent and the passive TRIVH system will prevent any surging from within the well. A better understanding of the inner workings of the TRIVH can be seen when only the internal components are shown. We see the hydraulic piston which is driving the valve between tubing and annulus differential pressure, an upper indexing sleeve, upper flow tube seals, power spring, lower indexing flow tube, and curve flapper. With the system installed and the running tool pulled, the first pressure cycle will drive down the upper flow tube connecting it to the lower flow tube. When pressure is released, the curve flapper will close and the upper indexing sleeve will rotate. There will be some trapped pressure between the flapper and the closed FIB, but not enough for a pressure test. Another high pressure cycle can be used to obtain a higher test pressure. When pressure is bled off from above, it is trapped between the flapper and the closed FIV, sufficient for a pressure test of the completion. Once that test is passed and confirmed, the BOP can be removed. The wellhead can then be landed and tested with an ROV. The next high pressure cycle will open the flapper and hold the lower flow tube keeping the flapper off seat. At this point the hydraulic piston is locked out and its functionality is no longer required. Low flow and high pressure cycles from an ROV can be used to cycle the FIV into the open position. Here we see the ROV's first pressure cycle. The VOI is compressing the fluid between the VOI and the FIV 
preventing the TRIVH from fully cycling. During the final FIV cycle, the FIV will open when the pressure is released. Once the FIV is completely open, the VOI can completely cycle the TRVH and close the flapper. Once the flapper is closed, the TRVH is now a fully functional injection safety valve. Again, with the external parts removed, we can look at the same process in cross section. We see the same hydraulic piston upper and lower flow tubes, seals, and now with the VOI insert valve on the inside. With the running tool removed and the TRVH ready for pressure, the initial pressure cycle will drive down the hydraulic piston, fully stroke the TRVH, and allow the flapper to close. This work is being done by the hydraulic piston, not the VOI. Once the flapper is closed, a low pressure will be trapped between the flapper and the FIV. An additional high pressure cycle will allow you to trap a higher pressure for a test pressure between the flapper and the FIV. Once the pressure test is confirmed, the BOP can be removed and the well head can be installed on the well. The next high pressure cycle opens the flapper while the lower flow tube is retained in the TRIVH. The hydraulics are completely locked out at this point and communication is possible down to the FIV. Again, the VOI is compressing the fluid between the VOI and the FIV, preventing the TRIVH from fully stroking. On the final FIV cycle, the FIV will open with the release of the applied pressure. Once fully opened, the VOI will completely stroke the TRIVH, reconnecting the upper and lower flow tubes and allowing the flapper to close. Once the flapper is fully closed, the TRIVH and VOI are ready to be the injection safety valve for the completion. The operational benefits of the TRVH are less complicated installation procedures, less installation equipment, the fact that they're compatible with FIVs, and can be ROV pressure cycle operated after the installation is complete. The 14A injection safety valve protects the flapper 100% of the time during injection, has no setting depth, no calibrated nitrogen, has higher injection efficiency, longer life, eliminates water hammer, and always fail safes closed. The TRVH can potentially save up to a million dollars per well by eliminating control lines and expensive emergency shutdown systems at the surface. It also decreases the risks because there's no control line fittings, no nitrogen pressure, no potential control line damage or flapper damage over the life of the well. The 5.5 and 4.5 TRVH with VOI are available with product design sheets. All we need is your functional design specifications. Thank you for watching.